Okay, let's work one more. <clears throat> so let's say your stockbroker, Mr. Lane, is very happy with the performance of his firm's aggressive growth mutual fund. He wants to invest your life savings in the fund. He tells you that his fund has beaten the market. To support his argument, Mr. Lane cites the following information. Over the past five years, the average annual return on the fund has been 25%, while the average annual return on the market portfolio has been only 20%. If the beta of his fund is 1.5 and the risk-free rate is 5%, did he really beat the market? Now, this is a really common thing that you're going to see. People claiming to have beaten the market or to have better performance than the market. What we have to remember, though, is that the fundamental rule of finance says it is always possible to earn a greater expected return or greater return than the market. How is it possible? By taking more risk. The only way to beat the market is to earn a greater return and take less risk than the market. And CAPM can show us right, what the expected return he should be trying to beat is, right? He's not competing with the market portfolio. He's competing with another portfolio that has the same risk as he does. Okay? And so we can use CAPM to say, given a portfolio that has a beta of 1.5, has this level of risk, it should have an expected return of X. And if your return on your firm is not better than that return, then you've actually been underperforming relative to your risk. So let's use the CAPM and say that. Right. CAPM says the expected return of any asset, including this aggressive growth mutual fund, which is just a portfolio of aggressively growing stocks, has to be equal to the risk-free rate, 5%, plus the beta of the portfolio, times the market risk premium, which is the expected return on the market minus the risk-free rate. Do our addition here and get an expected return of 27%, right? In other words, CAPM says the fund should be earning 27% based on the risk it's taking. Instead, this firm's only earning 25%. So they did not beat the market. And you should not let Mr. Lane invest your uh, life savings with this fund.